In today's video, I'm going to be sharing cards from my latest swap, and they are all from this products from Stampin' Up! from this January to June mini catalog. Okay, so I've marked off the pages and I haven't opened my swaps yet, so I'm excited to open them up, look at them in more detail, and share them with you today. And at the end of this video, I'm going to be doing some follow-ups from yesterday's video where I shared my celebration swaps. And all of those swaps, if you missed it, check that out because they were all featuring products from this catalog. Okay, so I'm going to be following up because I showed you at the end of that video some of my Happy Mail, some 3D items I had. And in that, in that I said I was going to put some, something in my storage items to show you what they look like in better detail. So I have those storage items ready. And I also have some other cards I made and I want to talk about some other specials going on at Stampin' Up! All right, so without further ado, let's get started and let's see. I am live and thank you, Caroline. Caroline for joining me. So here we go. I'm going to start with this Valentine card. I'm trying to go through the catalog in order, but I, I mean, I'm not showing you every page of the catalog. I'm just showing you whenever there's a product. Hi, Donna Jo. I want to show you that product and where it is in the catalog because many of my customers have this mini catalog. I did a mass mailing for those that requested it um, back in, oh, I don't know, December maybe. And ever since then, I've been sending it out with my paper shares and things. So a lot of you have this, so you can reference this. So we reference page 12 on this catalog, and I really like it because you had me at hello, and it's just, I like when there's a reverse. Last year we had a different Valentine's stamp saying Happy Valentine's Day, where you stamp the ink, and then what doesn't show up, I guess the negative, you know, is, is really cool. All right, so this one is made by Linda McGee, and we do a team swap. My, my direct team is called the Papered Chefs, and that's my direct team members. And then we all belong to what's called the Beehive. And that's another team. So this is the Beehive swap. It includes the Paper Chefs, Beehive, Honey Bees from the Beehive. Okay, so that's where the swap is. A bunch of team members. Okay. Oh, good. More, more are joining me. Say hello if you're joining in so I can see you. I see Lorna. I, I see other people watching. I see eyeballs, but I can only see names if you actually say hello. But I know that's not possible from the TV. All right. So if you're watching it on the TV... So I'm, so I'm told. Now this little embossing folder, so I, I took it out of the package because I like to show you things in more detail. And I have a light here. So even though like this stamp is from here, we, we featured all kinds of products from different parts of this mini catalog. So I'm going to kind of tilt this so you can see that better. I just turned my light. So I hope you can see that this is embossed. No, the paper did not get wet. It looks like plaster, doesn't it? Okay, it is from... The Fine Art Floral Suite, and I'm going to do that suite, cards from the suite next. So in this Fine Art Floral Suite of products, there's this really cool embossing folder called, where is it? Right here, number five. Let me, I'm going to go ahead and take these sticky notes off as I show you something because then I know which parts of the catalog I've shown you. So number five, it's called Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. So that's what's used here on this card. Okay, the card that Linda McGee made. She used the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper. That's this paper here. She used the she used the the plaster or not plaster. They I keep calling it plaster. Painted texture 3D embossing folder. Oh wow! And she put "Be My Valentine" in the inside. Hey, this is right on time. I can give it to somebody for Valentine's Day. I already made my husband a card using the um, the hot dog stamp set. That's what I'm giving my husband, but. I can give this to somebody else, like a coworker. See, be my Valentine is from Always in My Heart stamp set. Along with this is from Always in My Heart stamp set. Okay, that was page twelve, and then the the embossing folder and the designer series paper, page thirty three. All right, let me go ahead and put this one back and say hello to everybody else that came in. So we have um, Julie came in, Julie S, Patty H. Hello, hello. Okay. Yeah, I know it's late. Well, you know what? It's late for some of you, but it's early for others because I have viewers from around the world, right? And I have to get on when I can. That's kind of how I roll. I get on to the, I get on when I can and I just can't announce it ahead of time because I never know when I'm going to have a good, the internet gods are going to shine upon me with, the inter, with a good internet signal, a good bandwidth signal. Oh, this, is, this is from the Fine Art Floral Suite. This is Linda Funnel. She's our swap coordinator. That means that we all mail mail our swaps to her 
and then she takes them and she divides them up and puts them in like a bag. So this is my bag. And then I get, once I get my swap pile, then she mails it to us. We give her prepaid postage. That's how it works. So we send, we even get our own card back. It's like Christmas. So my own card is in this pile somewhere. All right. So I like how she used some almost like splattering of, of glitter all around this card. And it looks like she went like this and flings some glitter all around the card because there's little flecks of gold. Okay, so this is the Fine Art Floral Suite. And here's the stamp set that she used. Okay, the stamp set in that suite is called Art Gallery. Um, it looks like Coastal Cabana to me, and it looks like tone on tone, meaning, you know, this piece of embossed material is, is the same cardstock color. So I like that. So this is Subtle Textures Embossing Folder, I believe, or Subtle Something or Other. And this is from the annual catalog. I hope you can see that in the light here. Maybe when I tilt it like that, you can see that embossing folder. And then there's that same embossing folder I showed you a minute ago. Here, it's called, you know, the paint, Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. I like all her layering. This looks like Magenta Madness from the uh, In Color paper, In Color Designer Series paper. Um, this is the Magenta Madness Tone on Tone stamping. It looks like two two-step stamping meaning magenta madness twice with making it darker and I'm guessing the happy birthday is from here yes it is the happy birthday is from here see and the same coordinating color of ink so fantastic fantastic I love looking at these cards in more detail it's just fun for me look at this beauty this is the beauty and it's like raised up okay it's raised up and it, and it features a lot of things from this suite so let's see. First of all, I like to give credit where credit is due. It figures that it's Susan Edwards. Susan is always into her layering. Susan's one of our team members. She, she loves to layer and make things in three days. Look at that. It's up on foam. How cool is that? So here is, she uses this embossing. This, I mean, Golden Garden Designer Specialty Acetate in the back. That's what you can tell she used back here. On page 33, she used this same stamp set again. She used the Art Gallery stamp set. Uh, she embossed with gold embossing powder. You are an inspiration. Okay, I don't know where that's from, but I think, oh, you know what? That's from the Dandy Garden Suite, I believe. That's the one with the, yeah. That's from the Dandy Garden Suite here. You are an inspiration. Oh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Here it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I like to sing sometimes. Dragonfly Garden is where this is coming from okay hey i'm glad you like this millie thank you for joining in from virginia yeah it's it's fun to share the swaps and then this is like really popped up on dimensionals in this frame and it's like things first of all i what i really love is like i don't have this i never bought this because i'm all flowered out i'm not sick of butterflies yet but i'm definitely getting tired of all my flowers i have so many flowers and although I like flowers and I like making them for other people, I just didn't get this. I just couldn't justify one more flower in my collection. Not that we need justification as crafters, right? But that's gorgeous. That's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you, you can't go wrong with that. Everybody would love a card like this. Anyway, let's open it up. Like I said, Susan Edwards. Um, so it looks like she used Seaside Spray, but I'm not positive. Could be Balmy Blue. Maybe the Balmy Blue color. In fact, usually I can tell. Oops. Great. My stickers ripping the page. There we go. <laughs> Got some strong stickers on these cellophane envelopes. Okay, just so I'd always like to see what's inside. Okay, so gold foil, uh, gold cardstock. And the frame is probably from, I'm thinking it's from maybe the ornate frame styes. I'm not sure where the frame is from, but, you know, feel free to chime in if you know where the frame is from. All right, so that is the fine art floral. What else do I have? This is also fine art floral. Here's one more example of a swap from Fine Art Floral. This is from Hattie. She is my upline. She's the queen bee. She's like the head of our beehive. She's like, I'm on her direct team. And so Hattie made this card. And I like how she'd use the, I guess it's smoky slate. Could be gray granite. Here, you know what we can tell by the floral paper? Sometimes we can tell by looking at the coordinating colors. And then it tells us, oh no, it doesn't. Because it, it, it's one of the colors that would match. Maybe it, maybe it tells us. Designer series paper. It says, visit Stampin' Up 
to see the full description in colors. Huh. I always thought the full description in colors were inside the catalog. Anyway, we do have a full description in colors, like, in the back of the pack of paper, but I don't have that handy. So it's either smoky slate or gray granite, but I love how she used the embossing folder. Again, tone on tone. Same color of cardstock raised up on another layer, see? But the next layer is embossed. It really adds some pizzazz to it. And then it looks like, you know, maybe, maybe terracotta tile. Okay, so really cool. And then happy birthday. It looks like pretty peacock. So the happy birthday is from this stamp set over here. Let's see. I know I marked it off. All right, we'll get to it. We'll get to where that happy birthday is. I marked it off, but there's so much marked off in my catalog. So we'll get to where that sentiment is from in a minute. Okay, it's a very nice card. And let's see what else I have. So the next one is from the Fine Art Floral in that it's my card, and I put it in this order in that, although I did use two different suites. So I'm going to show you. So I, I had, um, the next card uses a different suite, but I wanted to make some ice cream cones because I had the Builder Punch, but I ran out of the paper that came in the ice cream suite. So I, I made my ice cream cones in a different way. So my card features this paper here. So it features the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper. And the You Are Amazing is from this uh, card kit, the project kit up here. It's from the You Are Amazing stamp set. Okay, so this is this is the You Are Amazing stamp set. So that's what I that's what I did for my swap. This is my swap card, and I used the double oval punch here to punch out the You Are Amazing. I love this punch, double oval. And I don't think I put anything on the inside of my card. I just put some stickers of what it was. Oh, the sweet ice cream stamp set. You are amazing. Why did I write sweet ice cream? Oh, because the sprinkles on top are from the sweet ice cream stamp set. Okay. So now I can transition into the ice cream corner suite because that is where the next card is from. So I was going to do my swaps with the suite, but I ran out of the paper. I didn't, I didn't run out of the paper. I was using it for swap, for um, not swaps, for paper share. And I didn't have enough of it, so I didn't use it for my swaps. So that's why I decided this other color scheme. But now I have loads of this paper because since then I've ordered like five more packs. So this card here features the ice cream corner suite. So it just goes to show you, you can make ice cream cones with any suite. As long as you coordinate your, your background papers with your foreground papers and your stamp color inks, you can make ice cream cones with any suite. But it definitely looks better when you make ice cream cones with the ice cream corner suite, I think. Like in this card here, she used all the designer series paper, all coordinated, and the Blackberry Bliss ribbon, the Blackberry Bliss Stripe ribbon, which is coordinated with the suite. I mean, just gorgeous. Okay, let's see who made this one. This is made by Jenny. Okay, Jenny, another beehive member. Okay, let's see. Jenny's card. Let's see. It's, oh, it's a fun fold card too. Yay. Okay, it doesn't have the paper inside yet, so you can put any sentiment inside, but I love this fun fold card. Look at that on the side. Very nice. So she used some dies and some, you know, stitch dies and some, the ice cream cone builder punch. Um, let's see. The, the ribbon, the, the cinnamon cider, it's part of one of the designer series paper, like this piece of cinnamon cider. Very good use of the designer series paper. All right, so the next card, that's, I'm so happy with these cards. These are just gorgeous. Mm -hmm beyond my expectations for when I love, I love getting swaps. They just keep getting better and better. Okay, so this next card features this Hydrangea Hill suite of products. Again, this is one of the suites I didn't get, so I love getting cards because a lot of my customers got this. In fact, this was when, when the catalog went live in January, like, I mean, within hours, a couple people popped this in their card. I was very surprised. Not surprised because my customers have different tastes than me and that's, that's fine. But this was like more popular than, than I could imagine. Maybe I used to love purple when I was little. And I still kind of like purple, but don't love it as much. But this is gorgeous. I actually like the way that these purples go together. And this makes me like kind of like purple again. Okay, this is Gina. She's one of the papered chefs. So we're all part of the Beehive, but Gina's my direct team member. She's a papered chef. And what I like when Gina does her cards is she puts all the stuff she used. Here, cardstock, Highland Heather Seaside Spray. Where's the Seaside Spray? Okay, Highland Heather Seaside Spray. She talks about all the different gorgeous grape ribbon. She talks about the colors of ink, Highland Heather and Memento Black ink. 
So I really like when she puts those descriptions in there. And so this is very inspirational for someone that has the suite or anybody. And she even gave us an envelope. Bonus. We don't even have to give envelopes in our swaps, but she did. So that's Gina's card. Okay, let's see. Gorgeous. The world is a better place because of you. Let's see if that comes in this stamp set. It should. Let me get rid of this because it's the only card I have from this suite. Get rid of that sticky note. Here we go. Here's the, here's the stamp set. Here. The world is a better place because of you. Hydrangea, Hydrangea Haven stamp set. Okay, great. Great sentiment. She even stamped the inside. Okay, with the little corners. So, and that's that's probably where she, where the gorgeous grape came in. Or was it Hyde and Heather? No, Hyde and Heather ink in the inside and Memento Black on the outside. And then these are those pearls that come in the suite. So this is a really fun. I mean, this is fun. Anybody would like this, I think. This is just a good card for any time. Very inspirational. Here are the, the pastel pearls. I have a lot of the pastel pearls because I do love how these go with many different suites, not just these. And I love embellishing my cards like that. And it's good to put three embellishments on when you do your embellishing. All right, so that is good. Now, the next one is a stamp set that I don't have because I'm not a grandmother, but I, I, doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're a grandmother or not. I guess I could have got it to give to cards to people who are grandmothers. But I think this is just an awesome stamp set. Okay, it is called Treasures of Life. Okay, Treasures of Life. And this is from Sue Earhart. Sue is another paper chef. She's one of my team members, direct team members, paper chef, pa one of the paper chefs. Wow, I really like how she did this. So what she did is, first we'll talk about the stamp set, then we'll go to the other part where she got the embossing folder. But I hope you can see that embossed that she did. All right, so it says, I love you. And it has, a, she put a little gem in there. It says Magenta Madness. So I love you, let's see, is right here. These are the little hands. And this is the treasures of life. And look at that. You can, this little boy, it's like a grandpa, but it could be, the grandpa could be tying the scarf of a little boy or is tying the scarf of a little girl. And then the baby, the grandparents holding the baby, that could be a little boy or a little girl. And of course, just use your blends to get whatever skin tones, whatever hair colors you want. But this is, you know, grandchildren are the treasures of life. This is, this is good. Yeah, I really think that's nice for a new baby. All right, so let's see. The other part of her her card, not the you know the other part, meaning the other the other part of the other the the embossing part of her card. Let's put it that way. The embossing part of her card came from here, from this suite here, called the Sand and Sea Suite. And I have another card from that suite, which I'm going to show you next. Let's put that right there, kind of as a transition into there. So let's let's first talk about this embossing folder. It is really neat because it, here it is. It, it's called the Seashells Embossing Folder, and there it is. And it's really neat because you can emboss vellum, but you can also stamp with the stamp set from this, and then you can you can take this die, there's a, there's a metal die, and you can actually cut out these seashells. And I do have a sample of that from my own card, which I'll just show you because I happen to be on the topic, but there's some seashells you can cut out and emboss. So these are this is one I made, but you can emboss, there's embossed seashells, embossed seashells with the pearl paper, this new pearly paper, and they cut out with this die perfectly. So that's just, way, you know, different ways to use that embossing folder, okay? So I always like to, if I have things handy, I like to show them to you as I'm in that suite, okay? Oh, and the love only grows. Oh, that's fun. She used the small blooms punch, a little sequin, and a stamp on the inside in that, in that embossing folder. Okay, nice job, Sue. Okay, the next one is from Donita. Danita Cook is also one of the papered chefs. She's on my direct team. Okay, let's see what Donita did here. You are unique and completely amazing. So that's on this stamp set here. She also featured the, the sand and sea. This is my second favorite suite after snail mail. I love snail mail and I love sand and sea because I love all things nautical. So I really like how she did this. This is, she took the snow, not snowflake, the sea star. She took the sea star and the seashells and she she took you know really did a nice job of cutting them out. Here's the dies. So she did a nice job cutting out all these things with the with the die cuts and everything. And did a nice fold and a nice stamp and let's see what the fold is. Oh, that's an interesting fold. Did you see that? 
hope you saw that. There's, so to make it really tuck in, sometimes I use, have to use belly bands and things, but she tucked. there's two pieces of card stuck there. So that's an interesting way of doing a fold. See, because it's, there's two pieces of card stock, so it tucks in. Oops. Oh, wow, this comes out. Now that's interesting. That's kind of fun. The gift that keeps on giving because it slides out. And you can, you can just make that into another card. Huh, I never saw a fold like this. I mean, I've seen lots of folds similar to it, but they weren't detached like that. Yeah, oh, it's a slider. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, good. Sometimes I need you guys to keep me straight. <laughs> All right. So, Cull Schaefer, thank you. It's a slider, so I should have slid it. It's a slider card. Okay, so that's that's kind of where I went wrong here, but that's that's what that is for. Oh, I have so much fun with these kinds of cards. All right, so next is... So, that was... That was Donita, Donita Cook. Okay, let me see. Um, turning to this page here, we're going to go to this suite here, which is called the, this is a mega suite, by the way, the next one I'm showing you. This is a mega suite. Dandy Garden goes on and on and on. I have so many things made with the suite because I got this like way back when in the, in the pre-order, we were allowed to pre-order it. But it has, it has, it's like a mega suite. It has all these couple of different stamp sets. It has a couple things. And so the next couple cards I'm going to show you are from that mega suite. And then I'll show you a couple things that I personally made. Let me grab them. I have things handy because this is one of the stamp sets I'm always showing. All right, so first our swap. Thank you for your kindness. This is from Stampin' Butterfly Michelle. Now Michelle is the person I'm going to show you the 3D items from. Her husband has a 3D printer, so stick around till the end of this video. I'm going to show you some happy mail I just got from Michelle that I ordered some things from her husband's or from her from her husband's 3D printer that really will help you with your crafting to make things useful. Stampin' Butterfly. And it's Thank You For Your Kindness, which is from here, the Dragonfly Garden. Oops. Okay. And I like how she used Wink Estella. And I like how the Designer Series paper is you lay, lay it up with the black behind it, and there's a little stitched, stitched shape. Okay. Very nice. And a nice little gemstone. Okay. So that's Michelle's card. That's Dandy Garden. And I thought I had another one from, oh, here it is, here it is. I knew it fell. Okay, I have, because I have them in order, like of the order I wanted to show them. Made love, made with love for a true friend. Judy Dudley. Judy Dudley is also in the beehive. And I like when she does this to her, she, she does Dandy Garden. She writes what she used with it. So Dandy Garden. And, and what was the other thing she used? Let's see. Garden Wishes Bundle. Yeah. So Garden Wishes is from here. That's this that's this one with the dandelions on it. So she's the Dandy Garden Designer Series paper. Oh, wow, that's cool. I like this fold. This is a really fun fold. Okay, so the Dandy Garden Designer Series paper with the Garden Wishes, that's where she got the dandelion made with love for a true friend, and that's where she got wishing you all the best. So I actually have this, and I haven't played with these little, little ones enough. They, they make great little elements on your card. And that's just really fun. And you can kind of fold it up, stand it up, right? Stand up the card. Okay, good job, Judy. And I thought I had one. Okay, so I have one more. Let me see. We've already showed you that sweet. It's marked off right here, and then I have some of my... Okay, so that's that card. Let me put that here and then go back to the dandy card. So while I was on this, I just had a couple things that I still have here to show you. So this is my little desk calendar that I made with the Dandy Garden Suite. So if you have a scan and cut, I showed how to make your own little calendars, how to cut them out from a template using your scan and cut. So you can check out that tutorial on my, just go to my YouTube channel and search mini calendar, Dandy Garden, Dragonfly. I mean, you'll find, you'll find the calendar. It's on my blog too, thepaperchef.com. And here's something else I made with this suite. It's a bookmark. And I made that with this Dragonfly Garden bundle, meaning this, this punch, Dragonfly's Punch, and the Dragonfly Garden Bundle. Okay, so those are just some projects. Anyway, back to, back to the swaps. I have one more swap. Hope that doesn't fall. Okay, so let's see. One more swap from this stamp set here. Oh, and that's where the happy birthday. I said I'd get back to this. All right, I said I'd get back to this card that Hattie made my team. Hattie's my upline. 
And that's where she got the stamp set. This Happy Thoughts, it's called. Happy Thoughts. Okay? So I said I would get back to that because I couldn't remember the name of that stamp set. I'm kind of thinking I need the Happy Thoughts now after seeing these. Because I, like, I do like useful stamp sets. Useful meaning, look at this. It has, it's kind of things you don't really notice, but then you're like, oh, it's useful because you can, it has the inner, the inner sayings for your cards. Today is great because all, it's all about you. The great person you are, the great things that you do. Or the little things you do so well and so often make a big difference to so many people. This is good for, you know, first responders or anybody you're trying to thank. So this is thinking of you. I believe this is Deborah right here. Deborah. Deborah is also one of the papered chefs. She's on my team. And she used the thinking of you stamp set from this catalog. And here, just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way. See, that's a great, that's a great saying for your happy mail. It goes with the happy mail, you know that you could send and this this frame is from the ornate it's either ornate frames or it's, it's in the annual catalog or it's in the ornate garden suite it might be called ornate frames all right so cool so I got to show you the cards for my swaps and now I wanted to just I had a couple things to show you I wanted to talk about some things going on at Stampin' Up um, I had I had a couple of more of my ice cream cards recently, so if you miss, just kind of telling you about some of my latest tutorials. So if you're a Scan and Cut user, uh, the last two Scan and Cut tutorials I've done are, were about using this paper. And it, I showed you how to cut out the stamps and how to cut out the designer series paper. So here are some of the cards I made in those tutorials. So if you missed those, please check those out. So here are just a result of some of the cards that I made using using those ice cream corner designer series paper, cutting out pattern paper, cutting out the shapes of the stamped images. I went through how to do all this in the last couple Brothers Scan and Cut tutorials. You can find them on my channel and just lots of fun stuff, okay? Also on my channel recently, I went through this suite and I went through and showed you how to do the gilded. It's one of my Ink It Up tutorials. I showed you how to use this gilded, new gilded leafing. And that's how I made this ice cream cone. Okay, so there's lots of stuff on my channel. Here's another example of the gilded leafing on the ice cream cones. All right, so now back to this. One thing going on at Stampin' Up! right now, and this is like flying off the shelf. This is like flying off, literally flying off the shelf. In fact, it's already on back order. It's so popular. So in this catalog, we have what's called the Hey Birthday Chick. Okay, Hey Birthday Chick. And this is already on back order. It's so popular. It, it, it came back, and it's so popular because it came back because in 2017 we had, we had the Hey Chick stamp set, and it was a celebration item. See, it was a celebration. It means the only way you were able to get it was to earn it for free. That was in 2017. I saved mine ever since then. We don't have this wooden one anymore. We have the, uh, the, the, it's the thinner stamp case, the photopolymer, or not photopolymer, uh, cling stamp. It's a cling stamp. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, it's a different style of stamp, but it's still the same exact designs. They're called Hey Chick. So right now during the month of, well, it's starting now and it's going to continue. It's an ongoing promotion. Right now you can get the Hey Chick, Birthday Chick, although it's on back order, I think you can still order it. Birthday, hey Birthday Chick dies. There's dies that go with that. And then this one's not on back order yet. It's called Hey Chick Stamp Set and Hey Chick Dies. So what I want to show you is I, I did a recent tutorial on my channel. Again, if you want to see this in more detail, how I made these, how I colored these, how I cut these out with the die cutting machine. Excuse me, I need some water. <coughs> then please look on my channel for the Hey Chick, the recent video. Probably, I don't know how long ago. It's all a blur. Mm. It's less than a week ago. All right, so here's what I made with the Hey Chick and the Hey Chick dies, or it's called Chick dies. They're just so goofy with all the feathers, and they're just so goofy. The little chicken coop. These are all done with those Hey Chick and the dies. So that's a promotion. You save 10% when you get the Hey Chick and the dies together. Hey Chick stamp set and dies together. And I, I think it's an ongoing promotion. It'll go on for a couple months. But it is still always while supplies last. I mean, these promotions we do are always while supplies last. And then for these, I, I talked about all the papers I used and how I punched it and how I stamped it. But just to kind of go over, it's called Artistry Blooms. These three cards are Artistry Blooms designer series paper. And then this one is the um, In Good Taste Designer Series paper. That's this paper here. And then this was um, just some cardstock that I embossed with the textures uh, dies. And then these are some retired, this is retired elements. It's called chicken wire elements. 
Some of you have been around Stampin' Up! for a while. Know that a couple years ago we had chicken wire elements. And I saved them because I'm a craft hoarder and I save everything. And they make great card backgrounds too. I didn't even need a layer for the card. I just used chicken wire as the background layer. And the way I got it to stick is behind all these little elements are some foam uh, stampin' dimensionals. And that's how, I got the ele that's how I got this chicken wire to stick there without using any adhesive on it directly. All right, so that's the Hey Chick promotion. It's just so popular. All right, so now, without further ado, I told you I was going to show you my 3D items. Oh, and by the way, um, Linda, when she sent us the swaps, she put that little nice thing in there for us. That was really nice. She put a nice little valentine in there for us, our swap coordinator. All right, so in the last video, I talked about Michelle, whose husband has 3D printer. And there's a link to her order form. So check this out. I put some ink spots in my holder. And mine's personalized, but you can also... Hi, Linda. Um, you, mine's personalized, but you can also just get it just the way it comes. I mean, it's going to come like this, ink spots. Okay? And so I'm not even positive about all her prices. I just know I did an order, and she sent it all to me. So that's my happy mail. These stack. But I did, you know, you can, you, you have any questions, you check with her directly. So they stack up like this. I mean, I'm not selling them on her behalf. I'm just helping her out. She's one of my team members. I'm just, I'm just letting you know how cool this is. That's all. So, but you know, you have to deal with her directly. I'm pretty sure she only ships to the U.S. Okay. But what I really like about this ink spot holder is that if you get, like, if they get stuck in there, you can just kind of, there's holes. So you could just push, push them out and then we'll get stuck in there. And then you have the, if you don't have ink spots, if you're not a paper pumpkin subscriber, paper pumpkin subscribers get them every month. But if you're not a paper pumpkin subscriber, you can, you might still have the uninked ink spots. These are just great for using with the Stamparatus. And the uninked ink spots are just, I probably need to label what color that it was. Those, those fit in there perfectly as well. Okay. Also, she has three, she, the other items I ordered and I've been using them as prizes and Crystal already won a prize. She's one, of, she's in my VIP Facebook group. It's a group for my customers and she already picked this as one of the prize. It's a group for my customers and team members. And the prizes, I'm going to be giving away a few more of these as my host code, as an option for my host code. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. I'm glad you like my videos. All right. So as an option, I do host code drawings when my customers use a host code. And like part of what I'm going to be giving away in my prizes are these little, I'm going to get some new glue. It's, it's coming. And a glue holder is going to be included in the prize. Aren't these cool? So if you ever like are like, oh my gosh, I wish the glue would, like I wish you don't have to just keep tapping, tapping, tapping to get the glue out. It, it's such a pain. And everyone's, I've seen so many people make their own homemade glue holders. But I'm glad her husband made these with the 3D printer. So pretty cool, right? So she has those in different colors. So these glue holders. And they're different styles too. See how they're different styles? Like of glue holder. Okay. And then the last thing I told you I'd show you was in the last video was this. This one. She has in the box she sent me. I got some of these. These are little, uh, these are markers. So many people see these and they say, what are these? Well, I, this is my second Simply Scored, and I've lost my markers both times. I don't know what happened to them. I, each, they came with like three or six or something from Stampin' Up! that matched the Simply Scored. It's the scoreboard I use. Okay, and it's, it's how you make cards. It's how you score things, right? All I have here is a sticky note, but just to show you what the Simply Scored is. See, it scores. See, it's a scoring. It's pretty fun. So anyway... Um, I kept losing my markers, and they're really useful because when you're trying to make boxes and things, see, look, you can mark off, oh, I'm, I'm going to keep on, you know, marking off three inches, and then I need to score it three point, or whatever, 4.5 inches, four and a half. See, so if you're going to be doing a lot of scoring, you don't have to think that you put these markers on your simply scored. So it's not like they don't come with it. Stampin' Up! does send you some, but if you lose them, she has extras, or she, you can get a little bag of extras. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you. Now, I, I mean, that's what I wanted to show you about my 3D items. I showed you about the Hey Chick promotion. And then lastly, a sneak peek of something coming up. We are allowed as demonstrators to, one of the reasons it's like fun to be a demonstrator. There's so many reasons, like card swaps, as you can see, camaraderie, you know, professional development. Um, it, there's so many reasons to be a demonstrator, even when, if you're not going to actually be a if you even if you don't want to sell anything ever and you want to be a hobby demonstrator there's so many reasons and one of the reasons to be a demonstrator 
is this. You get to pre-order things that nobody else has yet. That that the they're not for sale yet on our website. So this is one of the ones that we are allowed to pre-order this month. It's called Butterfly Brilliance. Butterfly Brilliance has a gigantic stamp set. It, it's just gigantic and it fits on my, I'm using my Stamparatus for it. I just washed it off. That's why it's on my Stamparatus. I'm going to keep it on my Stamparatus and, and use it. We do have a giant stamping block that this would work on, but I use it on my Stamparatus. Okay. So Butterfly Brilliance, it's something that has a die that coordinates. So you can cut out. I'm oh, sorry, I better turn it over, right? Turn it. Oh no, it's this one here. Actually, because this is not the right, like the actual stamp case is not the same size as the uh, stamp itself. It's a little smaller on the front of the stamp case. Okay, so there's a coordinating die. There's lots of other coordinating dies and they emboss. The dies emboss. Or if you, if you use a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, what's it called? Um, muscle, put a little muscle into it or put some extra paper into it. These dies will cut all the way through. But just, if you don't put a lot into it, then they just emboss. Okay, and so when I cut them all the way through, they look like that. This is a sticker I'm in the process of making. Okay, I even have a project to show you I made with this, but it's in the other room and I didn't bring it. But they, there's this designer series paper you can cut out with the dies or cut out the stamps with it. And here's the designer series paper. So I would do, just that's just a sneak peek. I'm not showing you all the paper right now. I'll show it to you in my, in my video. I'll do a video on this. Okay, so the, the die coordinates with the paper. This is going to be in this... Butterfly Brains is going to be in the next annual catalog, the stamp set and the dies, but this paper is going to be available to customers starting in March, and it's going to be a limited time only promotion, okay, the paper. But the dies itself and the stamps will be around next annual catalog, so they will be around for a while, so you won't miss out on them. I'm just doing some things with some other dies. I think this would just make cute little cards. Butterflies are great for sympathy cards, and they're great for encouragement cards, so I'm, I'm working on some some things I've cut out the designer shares paper already. So that's what I have going on. That's what's going on at Stampin' Up. And by if you order now before now before February 25th, we have of course our celebration promotion. You can get any of these items free with a $50 purchase. And lastly, we have our sign up promotion, our $99 starter kit promotion. And in that starter kit promotion, you get five packs of designer shares paper from five different color families. They're not labeled like this. This was me labeling them. I label them with my color labels, but they don't come labeled. But you get five packs of designer series paper, $57, 50 cent value for free, along with your starter kit, which is a $99 starter kit. And you get to pick out any $125 worth of items when you get a starter kit from us. All right, so that's all the things I wanted to cover. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was inspiring and not tutorial. It wasn't really tutorial, it was more of a demo. Hope this was inspiring to you and you get ideas on cards you can make. And I hope you get to see different ways and different styles of crafting and different ways you can use products from our January to June 2021 mini catalog. Okay, that's all for now. Have a great week. This is the Paper Chef.